There are several drug treatments licensed for the management of spasticity and spasm. The MS NICE guidelines recommend that the first line treatment that we use is either baclofen or gabapentin. We would normally choose one of these drug treatments and start it on a low dose and gradually increase. The aim of the treatment is to get a balance with management of the stiffness and spasms whilst preserving and maintaining as much muscle function and mobility as possible. If these treatments aren't helpful individually, sometimes we will combine them and some people get good effect on two different types of agents used at the same time. If baclofen or gabapentin don't prove to be effective or have side effects, the second line treatments that we progress on to are tizanidine, dantrolene or pregabalin. In some situations where perhaps nighttime spasms may be impacting on comfort and sleep, we can use benzodiazepines such as clonazepam and these can provide effective relief of spasms overnight and aid sleep. Sometimes drug treatments um, are not effective for managing all the symptoms of spasticity and spasms. And in those situations, we may choose to use other treatments such as botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin is an injection administered into a muscle which is stiff and it's usually used for focal or specific areas of muscle stiffness, for example, a hand, a foot or a toe. Following the injections, a physiotherapist will help to set up a program of exercises and stretches in order to maximise the effect of their treatment. Being very vigilant to any trigger factors is really important for management of spasticity and spasms. Keep an eye out for any potential infections, any uncomfortable clothing or tight splints, keeping your toenails trimmed to prevent any ingrowing toenails will all help with the management of spasticity and spasm. Regular movement is also really beneficial as we often stiffen up when we stay still for a period of time. If you can, try and incorporate some movement, whether it be by yourself or assisted by someone else, regularly during the day and also some position changes in bed overnight. A good posture is really important and being comfortable in the position that you're either sitting or lying in. A therapist, either an occupational therapist or physiotherapist, can help review how you're sitting or lying, perhaps in your office chair or in a wheelchair or in your armchair at home and help to improve and then maintain your posture and thereby reduce the likelihood for fatigue, pain or discomfort and the onset of spasticity and spasm. The majority of individuals with spasticity and spasms report that exercises can be very helpful in relieving their symptoms. It's really important to maintain as much muscle mobility and strength as you can and to try and maintain flexibility of muscles joints and ligaments. Moving each joint and limb through its range of motion each day can be very helpful and also stretching specific areas of tightness or restricted mobility can also be useful. A physiotherapist can help to guide you with a specific program that should meet your needs and you can then hopefully fit this into your daily routine either carrying out exercise at home or perhaps incorporating it into some fitness regimes at the gym or during a sport that you enjoy. Stiffness is often worse in the mornings because you spent a prolonged period of time fairly inactive in bed at night time. It is quite a common phenomenon that many individuals with spasticity report. Some people with spasticity 
find that some gentle exercise while still in the bed in the morning can help. For example, bending and straightening their legs at the hips and the knees, perhaps some rotation of their trunk can help to move and get them starting moving more easily in the morning. For those patients taking medication, sometimes we suggest that they take their medication as soon as they wake up. It is safe to take any of the antispasticity medications on an empty stomach, so often people will keep a glass of water and their medications beside their bed and on waking they'll take their first dose. If they then wait for 10 to 20 minutes before getting up, it can help that initial stiffness in the morning. The only time we need to be careful with this is if there's a situation where you use your stiffness to help you get in and out of the bed or to help you stand. And in those situations, you may find it more effective to just do the exercise before getting up and then take your medication once you're out of bed. Sometimes if your legs are really difficult to move, exercise can be a challenge. For some individuals, having some help with the limb movement can be beneficial. Some individuals we may set up with a program where their limbs are supported on a device, perhaps a gym ball or a use of a supportive wedge or T-roll in which to exercise from. Some individuals find the buoyancy that water provides helpful in exercising, it may be that you need to get some flotation aids to help support and allow as much freedom of movement as possible. If movement is very difficult for you to achieve on your own, there's some situations where we may train somebody else to help you with those exercises. They may be able to support your limbs and guide them to move and produce a more effective exercise regime. Some MS centres or gyms provide access to equipment such as assisted bikes. These are devices that you can sit in your wheelchair and place your legs on and they are a motorised cycle which you can help to participate in but the machine will also take you through the motion and a lot of our individuals with spasticity find this a very effective way of easing stiffness in their legs. It's quite common for people to report an increase in stiffness and spasms overnight. Some things that can be helpful are firstly thinking about your bed and your mattress. It's really important to have a comfortable sleeping position and it may be worth looking at your mattress and thinking about whether it is a comfortable mattress to lie on, perhaps how long you've had it for and whether a different mattress or bed may be more comfortable for you. If you're comfortable in bed, you're less likely to trigger the spasticity and spasm. If the spasms want to stretch out your legs into extension, sometimes you might find that resting with your legs in a degree of bend, for example with a pillow under your knees, or if you have a profiling bed using the profiling mechanism, may be helpful in reducing the number of spasms. If you have spasms that pull your legs up towards your body, you may find that lying on your side, keeping one leg straight and one leg bent is helpful in reducing those spasms. If you take medication to help stiffness and spasms at night, it may be useful to think about the timing of your medication. Think about taking it about 30 minutes before you go to sleep, so that by the time you're ready to sleep, it's having its greatest effect.